Hi, good, good afternoon. My name is James Crawford. Um, we are sitting here with my special, wonderful guests, Miss April and Miss Serene. Um, we here to, uh, you know, I, uh, this is like the newest, this is the debut of the, the Homeless Nation podcast. Um, it's been a, it's been a minute. I've been looking forward to doing it, so, so, yeah. Um, I think it'd be, I think it's cool to just do. So now, April, how's, how's, how do you feel? I'm feeling good, James. Um, my name is April. I met James and Serene through the Pathways Vermont Community Center. And James, I'm curious, what is Homeless Nation? Homeless Nation is pretty much a, a pretty much a non nonprofit organization for homeless people um, that's going through the struggle of homeless na na uh, the homelessness of. The epidemic of it is pretty much uh, a nonprofit organization. All the proceeds that go towards Homeless Nation for like backpacks, hygiene, socks, hat, gloves, stuff of that nature. Um, also, I would like, I'm in the process, I want to do like events for them, like as in, do you make events for the homeless people and directly have people that's not homeless, that's not in a situation to come in the event, pay for a plate, $5 a plate. Any donations is help would help. Any contributions will help. We would be greatly appreciative of that. Um, I also just want to make have cards made, and just and and flyers just to let them know, like you know, what I mean that I'm, I'm trying to help give back to the community help. Um, yeah. Do you have anything, Samir? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, what was your inspiration for Homeless Nation? Wow. Good question. Um, homeless Nation, I, I was, you know what, well, to be honest with you, I can, I, I can tell you where I came from. Homeless Nation, I thought about it while I was in rehab. I thought about it when I was in rehab. It came to me while I was there right now. I, uh, and I'm like, wow, that sounded cool. And I thought I'd bring up the idea. And people was like, no, that's genius. And a lot of people at the house was like, no, that's awesome. You were going to do that. So, that's what came up. It came up. I said, I, brought, I got it from Serenity House. And I, I thought about it at Serenity House. That's where I got Homeless Nation from. But I thought it was a pretty cool idea, and I thought it would be a, a good fit just to bring it to that next level, you know, and give back. Do something. I mean, I've been, I know what it feels like, so I understand, like, I want to make sure, like, be aware and be a person that speaks, a spokesperson for somebody that's in the situation of depression, anxiety, uh, suicidal. Um, I want the, the younger generation to know and understand that, you know what I mean, like, we've been through it, we've seen it, been there, done it, I get it, it's not a, it's not a safe place to be, but we want to try to prevent that and keep, you know what I mean, everybody and give them a positive outlook on life and get them somewhere to go, you know what I mean, help them out when they're struggling, you know what I mean, I want to do anything I can to just help them, but just the whole population, the community. I know what it feels like, so I understand, I get it. And I want to give back to the community and just do everything I can to just try to make it better because I don't, regardless of anything, I don't feel it's right for a person. Even if they've been going through it, they've been going through it, yes, but it's still not right. And I think everybody deserves to have a roof over their head, clothes on their back, and treat it equally, and just be loved and appreciated. Um, I have a lot of like, you know what I mean? I want to like, you know what I mean? After at some point, I want to adventure out and, you know what I mean? Go to different towns and see the lifestyle that they would live out there and, and, and experience it and see other homeless people and, 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 and do interviews with them and talk to them, get to know them and ask them, you know what I mean? The people that's been homeless and transition to getting housing. I want to know what like, you know what I mean? So how do you, uh, Serene? How would you? How would? How, how did you transition from, you know, what I mean, being from from being at the the bottom to where you at now? Oh, when I was homeless, yeah. it was just. Thankfully, um, I have met a lot of people when I was homeless because I was homeless for two years, and when I came to Vermont, that was the last stretch. But I met a lot of people. Vermont had a lot of resources, and I actually had someone pay for my bus ticket to Burlington, and I just did my research ahead of time with shelters and everything and just met a lot of people at the shelter who were rooting for me and just talking to different people 
even that were within Vermont and Chittenden County. And they just said, hey, go here, go there, and just really wanted to help. And they, their heart was in the right place. So here I am today, 13 years in Vermont, and still have stable housing. So, it's <laughs> been a long road, it seems. <laughs> How does it, how does it, how does, so how does it make you feel, April, that, that you, you know what I mean, like, like for you to just do what you do, like to where you, the level that you're at, the point that you're at in your life right now, like in your career? I love the job that I do. I love meeting like wonderful people like you two. I love that um, it really does feel like a community at the community center. Like it's usually the same folks who come every day or some people will come like more like once a week. And um, yeah, I feel like I learn a lot. I learn a lot from you two. I learn a lot from the people who come in there. Like I feel like I've become a better person over the course of working at Pathways. And um, yeah, I really, I'm really grateful for the, the job that I have. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 you know what? I, uh, is, is, is crazy. It's a really remarkable thing because I, I look at it as I want to like, I really want to branch it out. Like, I really want to like take it like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the stepping stone and this is the beginning. But I want to like take it to the next level, and 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 you know what I mean? I want to like, you know what I mean? Just do like a small event for like the homeless people. You know what I mean? Having like everybody chipping money, we cook some food, having just to have a day for the homeless. You know what I mean? Have a meal. People that's not homeless come in. They want to eat. Five dollars a plate. There's a tip. They get the don. It goes right to the tip. It goes right to the donation. It goes to the homeless nation. All of them. The money, the proceeds go to them. Mm. You know what I mean? Have that, like a barbecue. Yeah. Is it, you know what I mean? A barbecue, cookout. You know what I mean? Even if you have a family, friends and you know, if you have a, family, a couple of gather, a nice little gathering. You know what I mean? And just go from there. And and help the end because once I think once you get it out there and once people see what you're doing, I think that makes a big I think that makes a really huge difference. Because then that puts a different perspective in a person's mind of looking at you in one way, but seeing you in another. Mm -hmm. But the, the other way they see you is in a, a a way better way of seeing you. They see you more you more elevated, you more like you out there. Your mind is really like projecting and, and bringing everything that you put in your mind into, into tuition. Bring it straight to full circle. So, I mean, the only thing you can do is go up. And I think, I, think we can, I think we can do a lot with this. I think we can. No, I'm sorry, I don't think I know. <laughs> I know, it's, it's, it's been a long road, you know what I mean? Um, it was a question you asked me. Um, and I want to, I want to like give people the understanding of a lot of people that's not aware of, you know what I mean, like the addiction, the alcohol, the drugs. Um, I've had several people ask me like, what made you do it? Why did you go to rehab? Why did you? Well, I did it for me. You know what I mean? I, I had to. You know what I mean? I, I got, I got to that, I got to that point in my life where, I got to that point where it just wasn't fun no more. It wasn't fun, and I just I had that last drink, and I was done. I went to, and then ever since then, I went. I was like, yeah, I gotta go, and I went. But I did it for me, you know what I mean? And and I and I think like I think that I did it this this way. My first time ever going to rehab. Don't get me wrong, it was it was decent, but I was scared because I've never experienced nothing like that. So being around different personalities and it was different, you know what I mean? It was weird not drinking, you know what I mean? It was weird just like being in a house full of people that you barely know. Who knows if you ever see them again, you know what I mean? So, but it was a very a good experience that I learned a lot from my, you know what I mean? From my, I looked at my trauma, my past, from where I've come. And, and I've learned a lot about myself that I didn't even know was there. You know, it was, it was like a spiritual awakening. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to do things. Sometimes you do it out of just don't do it, or you just do it because you're bored. But if you do it, do it for a real reason. And I had to do it for a real reason. And I don't regret doing it. You know what I mean? I'm glad that I went and did it. 
you know what I mean, graduated, got it done. It's what, it's over 60 days? Mm -hmm. Over 60 days sober. So, about a month, like, but yeah. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I am like, I am high on life, I'm loving it. So, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I have, I have, you know what I mean? I like that this, I want to just, you know, live life and be around positive people. You know what I mean? Level-headed, you know what I mean? That's going to keep you on the right, the right track. So, you know what I mean? And just make it go from there. Well, you found yourself a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you know. I'm curious why, um, like, for both of you, why do you feel like it's important to do this show? Why do you feel like this show is important to you? Do you want to answer me? <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, I feel it's very important because I think it's better. I think it's good to have people knowing, and I think it's good to have it to where you have you have to put that. You have if you're trying to do something, you have to put that out there. You have to be that voice, that voice of reason to have people like, wow, like he's really like you know what I mean. Like you got to be that voice of reason, and I want it out there because I want it to let them know it's real, it's serious. It's not it's not something that you play with. It's just it's a real epidemic. You know what I mean? Like, I've been there, I've known seven years is a long time. Been all over, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, literally slept in like five, de like five degree, two degree the weather was in, in the snow, in the tent. Waking up seven o'clock in the morning, snowfall, caved in my tent. Had to dig myself out of it. Just, and get up every morning, feet frozen. Had to get up at seven o'clock every morning just to get my feet to move. You know what I mean? There was no blanket. I had like, what, two blankets and three pillows? No heat? for five and a half months, mm. you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, and I think it's very, it's very, and, I, and I'm, I like the cabinet the way I'm having it because I'm directly keeping it on a positive note and let it, and let people understand, like, listen, it's there. You need help, help you guide you to the right resources. You need a phone number to get to, if you're having suicidal thoughts or you going through a depression, been there, done that. But I want the people that's going through that same situation, the suicidal, the depression, alcoholism, that don't think that you're alone. You know what I mean? You always know this, or regardless of anything, of how bad you think you got it, you always, there's always somebody out there that you can reach out to and say, listen, I'm at the bottom of my, at the bottom, I need help. I have a problem and I need help solving it and getting back on the right track. And that's what I did. So anybody that's out there that, that's going through it, that's having a struggle with it, then, you know what I mean? You, you gotta just you know the resources. You know what I mean? You gotta just reach out and come out and just ask for it. Because most people is understand you got people that's just scared to do it. They feel ashamed or embarrassed. I get it. But there's no reason for it to be embarrassed or scared. Is 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 a is you is who you are. If you directly have an issue and you know you have a problem, then it's not. It doesn't make you a weakling or a coward for for owning up to your situation and saying, you know what, I have an issue, I have a problem. And that's not. And it's and it's it's good to, to be able to admit that. It takes a man, a person, a strong person to do that. So yeah. Yeah, many people just have a stereotype of who a homeless person looks like. I mean, a white young male, probably strung out on meth, blew all his money. But people don't realize that people from different backgrounds are homeless. Like homelessness can happen to anyone at any time, anywhere. And it's not just one particular person. I mean, you could be rich and suddenly find yourself homeless. You could be homeless many times throughout your life, but it could be anybody. And it's great to hear from people who've been in that situation, even if they've overcome it or not, and are still going through it to have like a better perspective because sometimes that encourages people to come mm -hmm. forward and say hey I need help rather than just as they say Joe Blow or Sandra from somewhere who doesn't know anything it's middle class and just comes I mean it's no different than all those teacher movies in the 90s like Dangerous Minds like oh hi nice suburban lady you're coming to teach these inner city kids it's a similar situation like it's best to hear from people who've been there so you could say okay all right, the message is better delivered and received. Yeah, because you're pretty much looking through that person's eyes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're actually in looking inside, looking in, looking out. You know what I mean? It's seeing what they see. 
You know what I'm saying? So you can actually understand and relate and coincide with them and be like, wow. Because they look at that person and be like, oh, he just looks normal. If they see you with a nice outfit on, they're thinking, oh, you got money. That's not always the case. Just because I know how to look nice and dress nice, you think my jeans or my shirt is expensive? You think that because the way I present myself, but it's not the case. You think I'm not struggling? Everybody goes through something, so you need to step back. A person that's not, even if they've never experienced it, but they can actually say, okay, you know what? I can't judge that person because I don't know what their situation is. I don't, I've never been in these shoes, but if they took a time and took a chance to step back and put themselves in these shoes and look at that person's eyes and see their pain and feel their pain, then they can actually understand and relate and be like, wow, now I see why he was doing what he was doing, why this is happening. You know what I mean? Sometimes people just got to just, you know what I mean? And I think it's time for everybody to just, it's just, it's just, it's just we need to just involve. You know what I mean? We got to conquer this home. We got to conquer it. We got to, it's going to be hard. It's going to be take time, but we're going to definitely conquer it. We have to. It's mental. You have to. You, know, you really, really have to. Because you can't just go about life and just thinking everything's going to be easy. Mm-hmm. It's never going to be easy. It's never. You know what I mean? It's never. And it's, it's, it's sad the way things is now, like they got homeless people everywhere. You know what I mean? Sleeping in front of establishments. It's all over the news. People don't, there's people, owners of establishments don't want them sleeping in front of their properties. Coming back, waking up, seeing people sleeping in front of the establishment at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. That's embarrassing to them, you know what I mean? But I just told it. I think that, you know what I mean? I look at it this way. If we can get everything done the way we need to get it done and the structure needs to be right. If this if the state got money to spend on these co- these complexes and these buildings and stores and hotels, you mean to tell me you can't you, you should be able to fix up a nice two a, a complex building or even a sky rise for all the homeless people that we got two big buildings or even if you gotta move them downtown or there's somewhere in out in Essex, wherever. But you giving them a stability, stability to where they live in, they got somewhere to go. You know what I mean? The only way that they're going to do, you know what I mean, qualify, they got to be clean. They have to have social security or, in, or income. Then they get, you know what I mean? It's just, they have to be sober. If you can't, you got to be, they're going to be sober. And if they're going to mess it up, then that's on y'all. That's on y'all, y'all part to directly decide if y'all going to let them stay. Because if they mess it up, that's on them. But you're giving them the opportunity to put all the, you got to stop that, but don't you give them somewhere to go, you won't have the homeless on the street. You give them a place to go. You give them somewhere they can live their head and not have to worry. You won't have the epidemics you have. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Everything has got to be come together. You know what I mean? Life is definitely like a puzzle. You got to put the pieces where you think they fit. Yeah, I think a lot of people are like, oh, what should we do about homelessness? What should we do? It's like... You you said it like literally just give people housing like yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. how you address all was is give people housing like yeah you have to like it's like but they, they here's the thing about it I just look at it as you know what I mean like the the the, the state said okay we care you care but how do you care do you really care or are you just saying that because you want us to you saying it because you telling us what we want to hear don't tell us what we want to hear. If you're gonna talk, you're gonna tell us something, then be honest and real about it and tell us the truth. I'd rather for you to tell me the truth than lie to me. You know what I mean? And most people like, you know what I mean, certain times people, but I get it, people is doing things that they, even if they're homeless, they're doing things that they're not supposed to be doing and they being irresponsible. But at the same time, it doesn't mean, that doesn't mean they don't deserve to have somewhere to go. And I think I deserve. I think every homeless person that's on the street that's going through struggle, they deserve a place to go, mm-hmm. regardless of their habits, regardless of their past, present, future. You know what I mean? Trials and tribulations. They still need a roof over their head. They're human, just like us, and I think they deserve to be treated as such, with dignity, honor, and respect. They're human, just like us. You know what I mean? And I think that's my only fair. You know, it's it's. it's it's been a long road, but I mean, I've, I've survived seven years of it. So. And when you can, when you get to that point, don't get me wrong, it gets to the point where you just so, you got so much build up on your plate to where it's like, Rrr. 
but you manage to to get through that and overcome it all. You know what I mean? Because I was at the bottom, but I was at the point where I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get through this. I was at that point. I'm not going to get through this. But guess what? Huh? Every time I thought I wasn't, I wound up getting through it. It took me a minute, but I did. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been the wrong road, but I mean, this is, this is something I've been wanting to do for the longest, like just to do something different, and 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 a different outlook, and a different light, and the way I have not have things blow out of proportion and combustion, and just keep everything on a positive note. You know what I mean? I want to send good vibes and be positive about everything and be around good people. Mm. And I think that's the most important thing and just try to help, you know what I mean? The people that's that's in town that you can help and do what you can so that way you will ha you won't have to worry about having a guilty punch on your brain like, wow. You know what I mean? Well, this time you walk down the street and like, oh man, see? I wish I had a dollar for that dude. I wish I had some change I'd have gave him. You know what I mean? Like I just, even if even if I know the person that I don't know, I still help them, regardless of anything. Like, you know what I mean? I want to do stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just keep, you know what I mean? Help them. Just do that. You know what I mean? Do different like, little events. They should have a day for like homeless people. You know what I mean? Nice day out. Homeless people they have an event for them. You know what I mean? Just a day for them to just get free food and be able to eat, drink, juice, sit down in among, amongst each other without drinking or alcohol, just sitting there, just relaxing. And having a positive day and getting along. That I think that, you know what I mean, just the day the way they can't be disturbed and be, you know what I mean, and just have everybody come together as a unity. And if, you know what I mean, because the homeless community is a family, so they all come together in one spot and they all can get along and be able to be cordial with each other. But you leave your issues and your drama out there and come and be positive with each other, the way they can communicate. You know what I mean? And get along and, just, and be able to eat dinner together without having, you know what I mean, problems. And I think it's always got to be a positive note. Because the more you teach, the more you put it out there, the more you teach them, the more they learn. They get it. But then that to put that in their mind that you read. They be like, okay, there's somebody out there that do care. And there's somebody out here that's trying to help, that's trying to do something constructive and better, try to help us as much as you can. Yeah. Because when you do that, it reflects on every everything you do. When you do it that one time, everything revolves. And it affects the people that's in your circle that you deal with. So while you doing good, guess what? You just made one, you just made a couple more people had lives a lot better. You just saved a couple more lives that you didn't even know you was going to save, but you did. Even to them, they might not think of it, but in your mind, you're like, yeah, I did. And I feel you'll feel good about that. Knowing you can wake up every day, knowing that you can help somebody at home, help somebody like that, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a that's a really good outlook on it. Definitely community relationships, and it's interesting when you're, whether it's a friendship or any type of relationship, when you're around a person, you just see them struggle, and of course you're always going to struggle. But even when you struggle together as well as individually, it shapes you as a person, and just a lot of people who, let's say, are currently homelessness or got out of it, or they're still kind of going out throughout their life having certain, like, not consecutive years, but it could be span of 10 years or et cetera, how you just realize that a lot of times there's a lack of community and those relationships sometimes aren't there, whether you're going through it yourself or you're with someone. So that's true, too. You have any input, Miss April? Well, you two both spoke uh, to this a bit already, but I'm I'm curious if you think there's any other. I think there's a lot of um, misconceptions that people out there who haven't been homeless themselves have about homelessness and about homeless people. What What do you feel like um, needs to be like cleared up, or what do you think people don't understand about the experience of being homeless that you think that people out there should understand or know more about. Mm. It's kind of like that saying, don't judge a book by its cover. When I was homeless, I knew a lot of felons and addicts, and some of those felons were also addicts, and they had children. 
and were trying to get their lives better for their children. So I heard all types of comments like, oh, look at Joe, he's a heroin addict, he shoots up in the bathroom. So I was friends with him. And I just said, well, are you gonna say that to him? He has a name, he's not just an addict. He has a name, his name's Joe, Joseph. Like, just leave him alone. You don't know what he's going through, what made him get to that point. Because nobody just wakes up and says, I wanna be homeless or I wanna stick a needle in my arm or just guzzle down beer all the time. Like, people go through things and trauma is a big part of addictions. It's also a big part of homelessness as well as mental health. You can have multiple diagnoses and you just know, oh, well, these medications make me feel drooling all the time and tired. So I'm just gonna reach for that bottle. I'm gonna reach for some type of pill that I'm gonna use to just make me feel better and forget it. And that's what a lot of people don't understand is that unless you've been there, rather yourself or connections through other people, you don't know what that person's going through. You just see the outside of them, whether they got tattoos everywhere, or if they're clean, wear a suit every day, or even if they're just trying to get a job and they dress the part and they just feel as though they're failing because no one's getting to them. Oh, you don't have an address. Oh, you don't have a phone. And it's like a big part is community. People need community. People need those relationships. Like when I was homeless, I was 28 on my own, no family, had to do everything myself. And so it made me stronger and more resilient, but it also opened it up and said, okay, I have, um, it adds to the level of empathy and compassion I have for people already. And to say, hey, you never know what somebody's going through. Like you might decide, someone might decide to just say something to a person one day, like, oh, why are you wearing those dirty sneakers? Or something like that. And it's like, well, you don't know if that's that, last, that person's last pair of sneakers for like a whole month or even a year. Like I myself have grown up and even being homeless with my parents as a teenager and going from place to place within Boston or outside of Boston and not knowing if I'm gonna have more than two pairs of pants for school, you know, and then going through hardships as well because a lot of people go through abuse and trauma and that's what leads them down certain paths and they just need those resources. That is true. That is absolutely true. It is. It's epidemic. It's, it's sad how everything just goes the way it goes. Like, it's just, when it comes to like, homeless people get, getting assaulted for no reason. Um, just, there's a lot that needs to change and needs to stop. And I think, and I think like me, I'm thinking like, help just trying to do what I can and what we can is just to help. I think that's that in itself is like the biggest accomplishment. Just the fact of taking the initiative to just to do something that's bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what I mean, you taking on that, you know what I mean? It's like you got you know what I mean, the whole thing on your back and you just like, you know what, come on, I got you. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's pretty much boils down to who, you know what I mean, how how you going to fix it, how are we going to get it together, uh, you know what I mean, how are we going to coordinate this, how are we going to figure out where we're going to put them. They need to. They need to fix it, this situation, because the more and more it's like, it's like, it's like homeless people, I'm going to not say it like this, but it, it's, it's, you know how you get like a fungus and it grows? That's the way the homeless is. It's growing. Because before it was small. Now, the more people comes in, it gets bigger and bigger. Then you got more and more. You got over a thousand people. Now you got people all over. Then you mainly can control. What, can, what are you going to do? Because if you don't have any structure, anything for them, it's just the epidemic of it, it's going to get worse. You know what I mean? So I'd rather for it you to i rather for it to not get worse and fix the problem now. So that way it doesn't get out of control. You know what I mean? For um folks who are watching this show who care about homelessness, care about homeless people and want to um 
do something, want to help, want to do something, um, what would you say for someone watching this show? That wanted to do something? Yeah, someone who just is watching the show and, and cares um, and wants to do something but maybe is not sure what to do or, or how. Um, what, what would you tell someone like that watching the show? Um, my advice to them would be, you know what I mean, like if you is going through the same situation, like, you know what I mean, and you even if you just cared and just wanted to know, like, what can you do? You can do a lot. You can... You can go to, a, you know, I mean, you can go to the website. Um, the website is www.homelessnation.org. Or you can go to the, you want to know more about what's going on about the, the, the us, or you want to talk to one of us, or get in contact with somebody, you can go to the Pathways website, you can go to the, the Homeless Nation website website um is a lot of resources out there and yeah and that you care is, is really good and i just i think it'd be and the people that care is the best part because the more people you get that care that's the that's the that's the main key of getting the more people that you reach out there that says okay i like the way this is going i like the i like his idea i understand this and you know what i mean like anybody that's going through the suicidal too like suicide depression like you know what I mean? You can easy, you know what I mean? You can easy get a hold of, you know what I mean? Every You can get a hold of Pathways, myself. You can get a hold of any one of us any, if you can. But Pathways, the, the website, you can get a hold of the website. Um, I'm, well, I'm going to try to get some flyers and stuff. And, um, yeah, so anybody that's out there that's going through the struggle of depression, suicidal, um, needs somebody to talk to. Um, therapy work for me. Um, um, if anybody has never done it, been to a therapist, never been to one, give it a shot. Never know. You know what I mean? Therapy helped me. Um, talking to talking to people like staff at Pathways like that helped. Um, friends, family. Um, just make sure you. Uh, Go to anybody that's never been there that, that's probably new to Rollinson, go to CVOVO, they can help. Uh, Day Station, Cots, they can help. It's a lot. You got a lot of them out here. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much, you know what I mean? Find it anywhere. But when you, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a struggle. But yeah, I just want them to just stay positive about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Stay positive, stay focused. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you need somebody to talk to, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Send an email, email the pathways of one of them, and, or somebody, a family member, a friend, and, and try to reach out to have them reach, reach out. The fact that you're reaching out, taking that initiative, saying that you need help, that's the big step. So I think, I, I mean, a person that has a problem, need help to get it just fixed. And, it's people that will help. Yeah, so Serenity House was good though. Mm -hmm. It was good. The staff was amazing. Yeah, I definitely like them. them. They did a good job. I, I I learned a lot. I learned a lot from being at Serenity House. Serenity House, it was good. The staff there, my counselor, it was good. I think um, the meetings, the groups, um, meeting different people, um, different personalities. It was it was it was good. You know what I mean? I didn't think I lasted. <laughs> I didn't think I lasted the second week, but I, I I was at that point to where I was ready to give up. But I said, you know what? No, nah, I can't. I'm gonna stay in it. And I stayed and got it done. And graduated and got it done. So I mean, it's possible. I did it. So, I mean, and that's why I'm, that's why we here where we at now. <laughs> I'm just taking it to the next level. I'm just trying to just, you know what I mean, put something positive out there and let people know that there's people out there that do care. So you guys just, you know what I mean, don't be ashamed or scared to say that you need help. There's nothing wrong with it. If I can do it, you can too. It's really easy, but I know it's hard. It's a struggle to get through. Did you have a, you had any, uh, 
Anything, any questions? Ms. Serene? Well, I don't know about questions, but I just wanted to say that I'm just thankful that there's people like April at Pathways, because April, if you meet someone like her, I mean, compassion, empathy, down to earth, just a genuine, sweet person, very kind. Yes. And April was the first person when I was going through it, a rough time, and went into Pathways. I thought, oh, there's somebody who's tall. I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, and it's just, I had no idea that I mean, it's like you never know who you're going to connect with who's in your corner. I mean, it's kind of like a boxer being in the ring and just having to get that opponent just going in blow for blow. And it's nice to know that there's someone there to sort of soften the blows and say, hey, I got you. Yeah. You know, or someone you're engaged to or just anyone who's willing to show that support because for April, all I can tell you is April does not treat it like a job. Like when April meets you and you meet April, I mean, you have a friend for life. It's, it's, it's different. It's way different. It's like, definitely mm -hmm. appreciated. It's Thank different. You, it's different. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if it, that's for real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, April, like, she, you know what's crazy? She was the first person I met when I came to Pathways, too. So mm -hmm. I was like going through it. Like, I was like really like at a point. You know what I mean? Like really, like really downward, spiral, out of control. And, but when I came to Pathways, someone just told me to go to Pathways. I went to Pathways, and then April was the first person I met. And I like talked to her, and she understood. She was like, "I got you, you good." And she understood. And that was the one that I was like, "Oh, this." I was like, "April's cool." I was like, "Once I got to know," and I start, and then I start coming back, and I'm like, "Okay." And it got better, and then it was like, "Okay." And the next, and then I was like, going to rehab, and she was like, yeah, "You got this." I was like, "All right." It was cool, but I was like, you know what? While I'm gone, she was like, I said, you can do what you need to do. And I directly left for two weeks, came back. And, but yeah, she's like, anybody that don't know her, she's awesome. Awesome. She's awesome. She's like, she's cool as hell. She's got the coolest personality. You know what I mean? She comes to work, she's lively, happy. Every time, I, it's never a dull moment. Never. <laughs> it's never a dull moment with April. <laughs> It's never, it's always, a, it's always like, every time, it's like April comes to town, it's a party. <laughs> you know, it's a good day, you know. It's a really good day. But that's the thing, with she, as long as, I look at it this way, I think that every day that she works and she comes to work and she puts a smile on everybody's face, I don't care if it's two people. She could put a person, smile on, but every time a person that comes in, she puts a smile on everybody's face. So when she does that, everybody, she's happy and content. As long as she's happy and content, she's happy. And it makes her day go by good that she made somebody else day feel good. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But. Well, I'm so grateful to both of you for like, every time you walk in the door, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a good day. Like, you both are like s such warm, radiant people. You both bring so much positivity. And yeah, whether we're doing karaoke, both, you should hear both these people sing. <laughs> amazing voices, um, whether we're doing karaoke or, I don't know, following through on your ideas. Like, this was all your idea, and I, I just want to support you to help realize it. Yeah, um, I mean, it's, 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 it's <laughs> different. Like, it's just, no, I mean, it's just, it was like, it's just surreal. Like, it was just like, you know what I mean? Because I remember we talked about it, and it was before I went to rehab, and and I told I, and I was like, you know what? And I sprung it on you, and I was like, you know what? Let me tell her and get your opinion of how, you know what I mean? And it's crazy, you know what I mean? Like, like you just, <laughs> like you, you got me, you got me on this one. <laughs> I was not, I was, I was thinking like it was something regular, you know what I mean, something just simple, and you shocked me. It was different, you got me, you got me. I was like, wow. I was like, wow, that is awesome, bro. I was like, wow, who did that? And it was like, I was like, wow, that's crazy. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the everybody was saying this thing. It was different. The website I came up with, the, the name, it was just different. But I mean, I wanted, you know what I mean? That's why I was like, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted to have, you know what I mean? Once I told her I wanted her to have April on board, it was like, yeah. I was like, I gotta have April on board with it. I got to, you know what I mean? And then it just went from there. And I was like, all right, so let's go. But thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that means a lot to me. That, that. Mean, that 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 means a lot to me because 
I, I, you know what I mean? Like it's something I've been wanting, like I've been wanting to do, and 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 I'm very like passionate about it. You know what I mean? Like it's really serious to me. So when like some something like this, when it comes to that, and this is like to me, this is like huge. Mm -hmm. This is like you know what I mean? Like it's it's mind blowing. Like it, 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 you know what I mean? It is. It's mind blowing. Like this is a day that I would never ever forget. You know what I mean? Like seriously, this is a day I would never forget. Just for the opportunity, like this is like huge. You know what I mean? The people here, like that's awesome. So for them to allow us to use the space, that's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. That means a lot. You know what I mean? To get it out there, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm wondering maybe we could close it out with our theme song. Oh yeah. Oh that's yeah, awesome. we can. I mean we can. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Homeless nation, homeless nation, homeless nation, conversation, homeless nation. You gotta pay attention. It's homeless nation. Use your mind. Yeah. <laughs>